Today we will learn how to make a new project in Android Studio. It is very simple. And what are the very important files in the project and how to deal with them. To make a new project, after we click this icon, we have this screen. To make a new one, we click File, New, New Project. Uh, in this screen, we will give the application name, which will be any name you want, as Education, or any name else. This is the, our package name, and you can change it. This is the, where the project will be, project location, and we can uh, change the location from here. Next. Here we will choose the minimum SDK where we choose Android API, the minimum of it. Okay, it will be Jelly Bean as preferred. Next. Here we will choose our activity and we will choose it as MPT activity. Uh, every activity uh, which will be used in our application have two files one for Java here its name main activity and the other for XML file activity underscore main every screen will have two files then we click finish It is take uh, some time to make uh, all files in Android. Okay, here our project is created and we have many files which all very important. But the most important one is the manifest file, which is an XML file and we register our activity in it. So this file is very important. We have our package name. Okay. Uh, here we have uh, some data about the application as the, the icon and the uh, style of the application uh, and the registered uh, activity. Here we have only one activity which is the launched one. It is the main activity. If we have many activity in our application, we must register all here in this application. But we have only one launch, uh, which will be the first activity appear in our application, in our mobile. Uh, then we have many files. Some of them are Java, and the others are XML files. We will first show our file java it is very simple and they have a little code and how to link this file with the xml file okay two files for our screen which will be in emulator or on our phone when we running it okay we have two files one for Java and the other for XML. Uh, this little code is about how to connect this file with this, okay? Uh, we have a folder for resources. There is many uh, folders in it. The Rowable for image, layout for all XML files. All my uh, XML files will be here. Then this folder for launch icon. Then we have values which have many uh, XML files which 
which are very important, like colors. These colors we are used in our application by name. We use it by name. We can add many colors here and we can change it if we want, okay? Uh, then we have strings. Every uh, string we want to put in our application, we can put it here in our string files and we can use this name in our uh, other files to use this as we used here. We used it as as here at string app name okay the last file we have is styles this file is very important and we use uh, our style here and we can change it we have many styles and we will know it after that there is more files in our application uh, which uh, we will use some of them as this file. It is uh, about how to add libraries to, to our project. We uh, here uh, told the Android Studio, which is the minimum SDK and which target SDK. And every library we want to use, we, we add it here. This file is very, very important. Here, our application and our project, which we are created, we don't make any file of them. It is all created by Android Studio. Uh, we can now run this application and get our application running on, on emulator as we will see okay it will take some time so we will wait until it uh, running We get our application here in emulator and we have the color as we change it. We can return it as before. So we will learn how to run it again. But this time will take fewer time. As we see, we change the color and our activity is here. We, uh, we could run our first application education in emulator and it is very simple. Uh, in this uh, session, we learned many things, how to make a new uh, application, what are uh, the files in it, what is the importance file in the application, and finally, how to run it in emulator. Thank you.